do get in with the showcase on showcasing you guys the brand new level 100 max get to evolve i would like to shout out kazua since he let me borrow his unit actually let me borrow to showcase to you guys so Thank you, bro. I love you. Yeah. All right. Now let's get right into the video. So first off, we will be needing to bring most of our money makers. So speed card. We will never forget about him. He is iconic to the world. And Bulma too. Then bring in the Sakura buff and Erwin buff. That's not Erwin. <laughs> Orwin. Let's go and bring in Kisuko. That's pretty sick. All right. Where is he? I'm so blind. All right. And now. Let's go. Let's go, broski. Hey. Oh yeah, let me let's take a look at him. Let's take a look. Oh my god, look at that black aura and everything. Oh my god, look at him. He's so manly, so handsome. <laughs> so handsome. Oh yeah, I made uh, the showcase on the other unit, so make sure to check those videos out. And all right, let's get right into here and go to plan the Mac Infinite. Let's go. Hey. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty, oh, let's go ahead and place our Bulma and all those things. Let's go. He's already doing his own thing. Oh my god, let's go. Let's let's go see. Oh my. Oh, he has this stand thingy. I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Let's go. I'm actually getting spoilers since I haven't watched. Uh, I haven't finished watching Jujutsu Kaisen, so I'm a bit sad. I'm getting spoiled. But oh my god, that is his animation at the moment. Pretty amazing. Pretty cool. And ma make sure that I have everything off. Yeah, I do have everything off. That's cool. All right, look at him. Oh, let's go ask if it's if he's AOE. AOE, right? AOE. I'm pretty sure it is from the looks of it. All right, let's go upgrade these. Amazing. AOE circle. Look at that. As it is a meta right now to have AOE circle in every unit. Because if you don't have AOE circle, then your unit is trash. Because we don't like singular target units. So that's why. All right, now upgrade these money makers. All right, let's go. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's his cooldown and range and damage at the moment. 2,681 damage, 6.1 seconds on his cooldown, and 19.3 range. That's quite an average. I didn't bring any of the units here. I could have brought my King Merum and Jalal to compare, but I've forgotten. So, but in my opinion, guys, I will state my opinion regarding Get to Maximum, which is the brand new hybrid unit that you can get, which I have made a showcase video of how do you get it. So make sure to go and watch that video if you have not yet. And and then once we get him to max upgrade, we are going to be applying those buffs. The Sakura buff, Erwin buff, and Bankai Kisoka's buff. So we can see what his actual full potential of when you do bring these buffs along with him. Alright, let's go everyone. Yes, let's go with the first upgrade. So what is he going to do? Ooh, 5,362 damage or cost 2,000 gold. Ooh, that's not a lot. I was expecting a lot. Oh, yeah. Let me ask how much is the placement? I I don't have no, I have no clue, bro. What is the placement? Oh, you can place in four units. So that's pretty cool. How much is it to summon him? Let's ask that. All right. So you can place four units. Uh, for get to maximum and it's 1,500 1, gold. All right, let's go. What is the second upgrade? Let's go up, upgrade. Can I spell upgrade? Oh yeah, let me just see. 5,362 damage with a 6.1 seconds cooldown. So I don't think it didn't change, but the range did increase. All right, what is the second upgrade? All right, let me just continue upgrading these. Second upgrade. Oh, oh, it was like a 3,000 damage difference and uh, 0.5 seconds difference on the cooldown and 22.2 range. It costs 2,500 gold to upgrade him. All right, now let me just max all of these out. All right. And he hasn't gained any ability yet, so that's interesting. I mean, all right, let's go third upgrade. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Oh, 12,000. Damage and 5.6 seconds cooldown and 23.1 range. Oh, yeah, I do want to say he is a hybrid unit. Alert, he is a hybrid unit. He can attack both ground and heal. So, yes, I mean f air units. Next upgrade, new attack animation. Upgrade 4. Ooh, 21,000. 5.6 seconds cooldown and 24.1 range. Let's go. 
Oh, it's the centipede one. Let's go. Fifth upgrade is 26. Actually, not 26. I read that wrong. 28. 1600 damage with a 5.1 seconds cooldown and 25.1 range. All right, let me just ask how what is the ability called? Is it called the uh, centipede like the last one, like the previous evolution, previous evo? And that is his sixth upgrade 39,000 damage. Oh, how much did it cost to upgrade? And yes, it is. Apparently, it is called the Centipede. And oh my god, 39,000 damage, 5.1 seconds cooldown, and 26 range. 7k, 8.5k. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, same price. Hey, yo, but it do he doesn't cost a lot to upgrade. All right, seventh upgrade, new animation, and hits air now. Oh, he's actually, he hits air at this seventh upgrade. That's actually interesting. Oh my god, look at him. Hey, what is the ability called, please? Yeah, he is pretty cheap, cheap, so I recommend bringing him. And oh my god, look at that animation. Looks pretty cool, though. Maximum Uzumaki. That's the brand new ability called. And oh my god, it's the seventh upgrade, guys. So 58,000 and 7.5 seconds range. I mean, 7.5 seconds cooldown and 27 range. Oh my god, let's go. All right, I'm pretty sure that is not the max. If it is the max, he should have said... <laughs> Oh, 67,925 and 7 seconds cooldown and 28.9 range. Oh my god, max? Max upgrade? That was the max upgrade? Let's go. Oh my god, he does quite a ton. All right, now we're going to start spawning in our Sakura buff. All right, let me ask, how much how much did that cost to upgrade? All right, now let's go ahead and apply. Oh, 15,000. Oh, that was 15,000 gold that time. All right, let's go ahead and start placing our Sakura. So 67,000 to 74,000. Oh my god, that's uh, quite a lot of, you know, upgrade. Uh, increased up amount of damage. All right, so now Erwin is going to do like 25% of damage, extra damage. All right, so now 91,000 damage. Oh my god, I can't read for my life. All right, now let me just recycle all of these. And now let's go ahead and spawn in our Kisoka. So his range is 28.9 and his ability cooldown is 7. Alright, now can I please spawn in Kisoka? Bro, he's bro, he's like vanishing. My guy. My guy. There we go, finally. I don't know why. That's a bug right there. Can we place more of them? Okay, it was just it couldn't show. Oh my god, alright. Now let me just uh, get him to upgrade. Yeah, get him to give us the buff. So I already mentioned the cooldown and the range, and once we apply Kisuko's buff, it's gonna be... Oh, 6.3 seconds and 34.7 range. That's a lot of range and, you know, cooldown. Like, it's not a lot of cooldown, and he is a very much good DPS unit. And by the way, I do think get to maximum which is the brand new unit added into this update 6.5 is better than the rest of the hybrid unit so i do recommend getting get to and i've made a video upon how to get him so make sure to watch that video if you have not yet as i've mentioned previously and let's see 56,500 gold total cost oh my god that he doesn't cost that much compared to other units and do let me know down in the comments if i'm wrong but i do think he is a lot cheaper than you than I thought it would be. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this showcase, let me know down in the comments. Call also smash that like button if you guys did enjoy this video. If you, you know, if I did well, like what could I have improved on? Maybe he is level 100 max and with a superior trait and all of that. Oh yeah, I need to mention that at the start of the video. Oh my god. So thank you all so much for watching this video. So goodbye everyone. Love ya.